If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's Protection Family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and St. Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, November 14, 2022, Monday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Personal Reflection do I disclose all of my negative traits? Do I sincerely ask Jesus to meet my needs when I call out to him? How can I help someone who is less fortunate than myself today? First reading, a reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4, and chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. I am from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this. The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this. I know your works, your labor and your endurance and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response real sum. Your response. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Your response, those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Your response, those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes.
your response those who are victorious i will feed from the tree of life the acclamation alleluia alleluia i am the light of the world says the lord whoever follows me will have the light of life alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 18 verses 35 to 43 As Jesus approached Jericho a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging and hearing a crowd going by he inquired what was happening they told him Jesus of Nazareth is passing by he shouted Jesus son of David have pity on me the people walking in front rebuked him telling him to be silent but he kept calling out all the more son of david have pity on me then jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him and when he came near jesus asked him what do you want me to do for you he replied Lord please let me see Jesus told him have sight your faith has saved you he immediately received his sight and followed him giving glory to God when they saw this all the people gave praise to God the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings according to the reading from the gospel for today bartimius a blind man came to jesus in faith trusting that he would restore his sight he only asks for mercy from him my dear friends as we see heal son of david he exclaims since he understands that the messiah must come from the house of david he cries out have mercy on me but timius did receive healing from jesus and he was able to praise god while gazing upon Jesus and the magnificent creation yes my dear friends unlike bartimius none of us have ever seen jesus with our natural eyes and we will continue to be blind until we are in contact with him Though the crowd is shouting Jesus is still able to hear his cry for mercy Dear friends no matter when we approach him he hears our cries and is waiting for us to call out to him Nothing on earth can prevent our voice to reach Jesus When we pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy on me, we are commanded to humble ourselves. We are certain to experience love, joy, compassion, peace, kindness and generosity when we turn to him in faith and ask for a physical and spiritual healing. prayer merciful lord i thank you for the gospel reading of today lord i surrender to you everything that prevents me from seeing you and your marvelous creation bless me today as i persistently and firmly express to you my needs may we all be witnesses to your mighty name may almighty god bless us the father the son and the holy spirit amen
Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Until we meet again in the next video, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Thank you.